Hey, good morning, more Medic One. Today we've got a super common issue on uh, these Honda starters. Now this happens to be the GX, uh, the commercial Honda engine, this is the 120, but it's the same across all of the Honda starters. Some Briggs and some Tecumseh starters are the same, all with the Sousa style, uh, you know, rope rotor and spring assembly. The problem is when the customer goes to start it, nothing happens, it does not retract. So let's tear into this thing and see what we need to order or possibly even fix it without any parts. It's super obvious that the center screw that holds this assembly together has uh, been compromised. Somebody's been in here before and stripped it out. So, but we still have a little bit left here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a big flat blade screwdriver and hopefully get this out. Make sure you don't lose any of your springs and spacers. Here's your friction ring. Put it back right there. You set it off to the side. Remove your torsion spring. And just make sure the springs are good on your starter dogs. Now this is the older style starter. So at this point, let's go ahead and lift out the rope rotor from the starter. And as we can tell, before I lift it out, let's just check for wear. And this got a little bit, not excessive. And there we go. There's the problem. The spring is actually broken. Here's the broken piece. Hey, it's moving parts that get bent every time you pull that rope. Something's got to give at some point. All right, so what we want to do is just basically rip out the old spring. nasty mess over to the parts washer and clean all the grease and grime and baseball field dust out off of this darn thing. This thing is just coated. Be sure though, put your fingers over this to keep these from falling out. All right, so we've got our new starter spring. It's already got grease on it. You don't have to lubricate this. I'll put a link in the comment and a, in the description for the spring for a Honda. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna put two or three different springs in the comment and the description to cover a few of these engines. So basically what you need to do is you need to start right here at the outer end of the spring, not the inner, and we're just going to hook it right back into the starter. rotor and then we're going to by hand just roll that spring into position holding it tight as you go this is a definite art for sure I've seen lots of mechanics come up with some pretty unique curse words when repairing these starters. But just go slow 
and be consistent and it'll go right in. You feel it trying to get away from you, then just stop and redo. But as you can tell, we are just about there. Perfect. Okay, so you've got this part done. The trick now is to get this crook of the spring right down in the spring catch right here. So you want it to catch right there on that little tab. You can kind of look down through here and at the same time should get pretty close. There, we're caught. It's perfect. Reinstall your torsion spring. Make sure your friction, that little nylon friction ring is in there. And then tighten down your screw. Oops, sorry folks, I bumped the camera, my bad. My table's kind of wobbly a little, but here we go. You've got the new spring installed, and the best thing to do is just wind this thing up completely until it stops. And it'll be tough, but you can do it. Okay, we're at the end of that spring, so let's look and see where we're at on the rope hole. The eyelet's here, so let's let the spring, or the assembly, rotate around just until we're lined up with the eyelet. So you want where your rope goes through here and the eyelet lined up. So now, find a spot in here that'll keep that rotor solid and just stick you a, a pin in there or a pocket screwdriver and that way you can let go of it and nothing's going to go flying everywhere go ahead and burn the end of your rope <laughs> make a point out of it. And just feed the rope right through the eyelet. And right through the starter hole there, or the rope rotor hole, and just make you a good solid figure eight knot. rope at this point just kind of hold the rope and then pull the pin and everything should just suck right up in
righty guys, we got the little Honda GX series starter. And let's talk about this just for a second before I let you guys go. If you're working on the general consumer, the GC series of these starters, yes, you can replace that whole assembly for like 12 bucks. It's not worth repairing those. But anyway, commercial starter done. And guys, if this is your first time here, welcome to the channel. And uh, if you're already subscribed, thank you. And uh, while y'all are here, y'all go ahead and hit that subscribe button and uh, give me a thumbs up if this content helped you out. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great Tuesday.